When surfacing an object, you can use one surface along with multiple weight maps to give a variety of appearances on that surface. What I thought we could do is take a look at setting up multiple weight maps on one surface in the node editor. So we'll take this head here and we'll create a couple weight maps. So I'm going to switch from texture mode to weight shade mode and let's create a couple weight maps. So I'm going to go new and we'll call this Mo. We'll, we'll give her a mohawk. So we'll go Mo, no initial value, create. And with that created, we'll just select some of this geometry here. Let's say like that. Okay, running right down the middle. And over on the map tab, we'll choose set map value, and I'm going to give that 100%. So these points have a weight map value of 100%, and then it fades off to zero. Okay, so deselect. We'll deselect those polygons, and let's make another one and we'll call this scar and no initial value hit create and I'm just gonna come over here over by the eye and I'm just gonna select a little bit of geometry here that runs right down the eye and we'll set map value on that so set map value and we'll give that a hundred percent Okay, so the, the points that make up those edges that I selected have a weight map value of 100%, everything else zero, so it's going to fade over. Okay, so I'm going to save that out, and we'll shoot it over to layout, send object to layout. Shift C for camera, T for move, 6 for camera view, and we're just going to rotate over here, get a good look at the area that we want to work with. Okay, say like right there. And we'll do a F9 render, and there's what we're starting with. So I'm actually going to move that over so that we can take advantage of the, the space. Let's go over to the surface editor. We'll choose face for this surface. Okay, we're going to work, remember, we're working on one surface with multiple weight maps. So we'll activate the node editor, open up the node editor. I'm going to try and make a little bit of room here to work with so that we can still see over here just in case if I need to, to point something out. We'll start by creating the first surface and let's just try using 3D texture. Let's do turbulent texture. I'll double click and for the background color we'll go ahead and keep with the gray kind of this light gray that we're using and then we'll do a darker color for the foreground color. For the scale I'm just gonna go really small Okay, 2.5 millimeters, just so I can get some fuzz. It, we can kind of see here some little fuzz going. And we'll keep the, the rest of the settings default and just take a look at what happens when I plug this in. And I'll hit F9. We've got a little bit of fuzz going on. But I don't want it over the entire surface. So I'm going to control that with the weight map that we created. So add node, vertex map, weight map. Okay, double click. For weight map, we'll choose Mo because we'll use this for the Mohawk. And we'll plug this into Opacity. Do a render. And as you can see here, we're limiting that surface using the weight map to just the area that the weight map uh, belongs to. If I want to further control that, I'll come over to Gradient and add a gradient. I'm going to plug that into the input of the gradient, plug the weight map into the input of the gradient, plug the color into the foreground color. Or actually, I'm going to plug that into opacity, just like we had before. This is basically taking advantage of the fact that a weight map is just a gradient. Well, I'll further control that gradient with a gradient. Okay, and we'll move this down and we'll do a render just to see what it looks like. Looks pretty much the same. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit maybe. Mm, it's a little harder edge than I want, so I'm going to go and move that back, and then instead of 100%, I'm going to make this a little gray, so it's a little lighter, a little fainter, okay? Not as dark as before. If we want, we can lighten that up even more, okay? Make it a little fainter. Okay, so we can keep adjusting that, but uh, we get a, a nice little uh, crew cut going on here close to the skin. And we've got that set up. Let's go ahead and set up the scar. Uh, I'm going to disconnect this. Copy, paste. I'm just right clicking to get to that menu. And I'm going to plug this in to the color. Right now it's the same setup. 
if I go to turbulence and change from this gray, I'm going to change to a bright red just so we can see it. And for weight map, let's choose scar. We'll do a render. And now we've got the scar showing up. Mm, I want to tighten it up a little bit. So I am going to go to the gradient and squeeze this down some. And let's take a look. Okay, I like that better. It's just a little scratch. Let me zoom in so we can see it. Just make sure that you see I got a little scratch going on by the eye. Okay, now I want both of these surfaces. Let me make a little more room here. I want both of these surfaces used, but I can only plug in to one channel, the color channel. So what I'll do is I'll come over to the Add Node Tools Mixer. I'll plug the mohawk into the background. I'll plug the scar into the foreground and I'll plug this into the color. Now we're not quite there yet, but we'll do a render and we'll see we're only getting the scar. I need to tell the mixer that I only want the scar surface, this entire surface, to appear right here. So I'm going to unplug what we were using to control the opacity. I'm going to plug that in. I'm just kind of shifting some things around here. I'm going to plug that in to the opacity here because remember that opacity always, no matter where you're looking here, opacity always controls the foreground color. Okay, so I'm telling it that the foreground color for this only show up where this weight map and gradient are telling it to. So I've got that plugged in, so I'll do my render. And as you can see, we've got both the mohawk and the scar showing up on one surface using multiple weight maps. Okay, so this is the, the basic setup. If, let me zoom out a little bit, if you wanted to, you could take this entire flow right here, copy and paste it down here, add another mixer, and you could blend four weight maps, and then you could do this, you could copy and paste that entire setup and do eight and 16 and just keep going. Now, I do limit, uh, at some point, I, I decide, well, maybe it's time to break up some different surfaces, but uh, if if I can get away with having the nice fade and um, use one surface, it stops me from having to have multiple surfaces. So multiple weight maps allow me to do that. And here is the basic setup. Just use that mixer node. Make sure the key here is making sure that you control the opacity. Okay? And uh, if you're going to mix these two, break it off of the second one, off of the foreground one, and plug your weight map into the opacity, and that's going to allow you to blend these two weight maps on one surface.